So now let's talk about the insert function in the NumPy package. So suppose that we want to insert a number, for example, 600, in this position. And remember that Python is start counting at zero. So this position is index zero. So in order to do so, we simply type np dot insert because you want to insert something. And first of all, we should pass the array, which is x. And then we should pass the index. So we want to insert something at index zero. And then we should pass the value. So the value is, for example, 600. So if I store the results in a variable, let's say called y, and here if I print y and if I run the code, you can see that we have inserted 600 at index zero of this array. And also remember that if we pass, for example, a list of numbers, for example, 600 and 700, and if I run a code, you can see that we have added 600 and 700 at the beginning of the array. And for example, if I want to get something like this, I mean, if I want to insert something at the end of this array, I can simply pass len of x. And if I run a code, you can see that we have added 600 at the end of that array. And now suppose that we have a matrix and we want to insert a row to this matrix. In order to do so, we simply type np.insert and we want to insert to this x. So first of all, we should pass the array itself. And then we should pass the index. So for example, we want to insert a row at the beginning of that array. So we simply pass zero means at the first position. And then we should pass the values. For example, we want to add, for example, 600, 700, and 800. So this is the row that we want to add at the first position of that array. That's it. And we should simply pass axis equals to zero because you want to add a row. So if I store the results in a variable, let's say call y, and here if I print y and if I run the code, you can see that we have added this row at row at index zero. And now suppose that we want to add this row at the end of that array. So in order to do so here, we simply pass x dot shape and the zeroth elements of that shape. So you can see that here we have passed zero and also here we have passed zero. So if I run the code, you can see that we have added this row at the end of that array. I mean the last row. And also remember that, for example, instead of a list of numbers, for example, if you pass 600, then all of the values are going to be 600. So if I run the code, you can see that all the values are 600. And also we can use the similar way in order to add a column. So for example, if I pass axis equals to one, it means column. So you can see that we are adding a column, add column with index zero. And for example, if you pass a bunch of numbers, 600 and 700, you can see that the first column is 600 and 700. And if you want to add this row at the end of this array, here we can simply pass x dot shape and we should pass one. Remember that here we have one and here we have also passed one. So if I run a code, you can see that we have added this row at the end of that array. I mean the last column. Now I really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now.